Hey there, beautiful friends. This is Jamie. Welcome to Soulvine Guidance. We are connecting into Pisces energy, sun, moon, and rising. And let's see what's happening for the weekend, Pisces. We're going to actually do a Celtic cross today. I like to mix things up, you know. Um, all right. So coming up, straight up, is the High Priestess. We've got the two of water in terms of the challenge. We've got renewal, three of water, a celebration, wedding, birth announcement. I'm just going to dive in and see what we've got here, guys. I'm just going to move this over. Okay. Nice. Well, it's always nice when the sun shines, doesn't it? <laughs> we feel it too. All right. And then we'll further clarify. Uh, There's quite a lot of fire energy here, but you've also got some major arcanas, which is great. Okay. All right, so Pisces, kicking off. So we've got the High Priestess showing up here. It seems that your, your intuition right now is asking you to pay attention to decisions that you're making or direction that you're going. Your intuition is trying, I think, to communicate or talk to you. Okay, um, in regard to this, because what we're seeing is challenging this intuition is a connection, but a part of the connection is being able to forgive and allow, um, you know, something to grow here. So I want to get more on this because I feel there's a little bit of conflict in trying to understand your intuition and what's real um, versus what you're fearing or triggered versus the... Is this your intuition being ignored because you are connecting to a relationship that you're feeling close? But here it's saying a positive resolution. So yeah, that, that to me is an interesting one. Um, but we're going to further, further clarify what that is. But overall, we're just, we're seeing things, you know, in terms of the current situation, we're seeing things work out. We're, th we're seeing things moving into, like moving forward in a healthy way, okay? Um, we've got renewal energy, which is about moving into a new direction. I have mentioned throughout the week for some of you, you've really been considering that fresh start, clean slate, um, changing locations, changing homes, you know, um, even maybe workplace, just something new. But I feel what whatever is happening here, there's there's good energy flowing through, but something something seems to be challenging you on the truth of something is what I'm feeling here, Pisces. So looking at the past energy and how it's impacting this, we've got celebration. So the three of waters. Um You know, maybe too, because it's talking about fun. This could, I'm just getting a few different messages though, because a three of water too can be more than one person. Um, what has challenged a connection, someone getting involved where they shouldn't. Um, but it also could be too, that you've just had a lot going on and maybe you just haven't added that little bit more like, you know, sexy time, fun, connectivity as part of that, because the three of cups can also too be about, you know, connection and, and, and just enjoying where you're at and what you're doing. So I feel like maybe in the past that's been missed a bit and something for you to potentially pay attention to, to really start embracing in terms of this dynamic or fresh start that you're looking for Pisces. And maybe today's a good day to start that, that playfulness that comes with it. Cause then we've got the night of fire so when we're looking at this night of fire that's kind of crowning the energy, we're seeing something something that is showing up for you that you guys potentially really want to do here. They're just giving me like a little red flag just to be mindful 
of not getting too carried away with the excitement or the passion that comes with this newness or potential of something new. Um, It just seems that something's going to move forward pretty quickly. If you guys end up making maybe a decision this weekend of that, what it, what that fresh change is, what that new start is, new home. It's just like, that's cool. Go do it. Go do it if you're feeling called to do it. But I just emphasize this and I emphasize this often. Making decisions in the heightened energy of, wow, this is so amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm making decisions without having time to really sit with it and respond. Sometimes we just need a night. That's all we need is sometimes a night. But I feel like we've got the jets that decided to, to start here. It's always the way, right? But if you're looking to get on that plane and go somewhere or go do something, that's one thing, right? You can go on a quick trip, a quick holiday. But if you're making significant changes that can impact your life, it's just saying, just just take a breath. There's nothing wrong with being spontaneous and fun because I think that's pretty cool if you love to do those sort of things. This just seems to be a, something a bit more in the detail of the plans that you're taking action towards. Just have a little bit of an extra connected in um, and look or don't leave things too long as well. Responding is one thing, taking time to think about is one thing, but don't let it go too long because this could be a missed opportunity. Because what we're seeing coming up here, Pisces, and I think this was actually in your reading earlier this week, just something that's coming on in that seems to be conflicting with all these things that you're trying to do. I don't know. It's like something isn't lining up here with this five of fire um, or something that you're witnessing or seeing is just getting to you about a situation. So I don't know if some of you aren't on the same page about what you're working towards. That could be the potential here because we're seeing a lot of fire energy. So there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of things happening, going towards that you're putting effort into. So just be mindful of that if it does come up, but we'll look how we can support the energy because then we've got the sun. So when we look at your environment and things like that, we're seeing the sun here that anything that's showing up for you is like letting you know, like have confidence in these ideas, in these dreams and in these goals of what you want to go towards because there is success here. There is so much success available to you and, and presenting itself, but you've got to be willing to grab a hold of it and go that path. But it seems this change is what's going to be very supportive as part of this. So I'm just getting... I'm just seeing like a tick, like a tick of approval. Yes. Okay. Um, when we have a look at the, the king of fire. So we've got the knight and the king. Did I call, maybe I said this was the king before. I apologize if I did that. Um, but yeah, it ju I just see something elevating here. I, I'm just getting... With this fun and with this excitement and also like I feel like there's multiple people involved or maybe a significant person involved here. Maybe that there's a lot of excitement happening and it's kind of like, you know, when everyone's got ideas but no one's taking action or all these ideas and then no one knows what to do next kind of thing. That's what I kind of feel is happening here. And Spirit's just asking you as part of this experience, it's really important to get on that that path of, of getting really clear on what it is that, that you want or you guys want or this next chapter is going to look like because someone needs to step up here and go do what they need to do, okay, is what, what's coming on through. Um, when we look at your uh, hopes and fears, Pisces, we've got the three of fire. So abundance, things look good, have patience. And this is about making long-term plans. So I've mentioned this before. I don't know, we have new viewers and things like that here. But Pisces, there is something coming up about significance in your life right now. Long-term long -term projects 
changes, like things that are shifting are for the longer term of, of your life and your path. And we're seeing this here again and with this three of fire that it's, this is about your long-term journey. This is not just a quick fix energy. This is about your, where you really want to be and where you really want to go. And we're seeing this hope of it being an abundant future of things like finally turning in your favor of things working out the way you want to work out. It's saying things are looking good here. Okay. And it's asking just to have patience Having patience is also having faith and trust and trying to keep that um, being satisfied as part of the journey, no matter where you're at. Okay. And I know sometimes that's not an easy one, but our mindset around it will have the biggest impact on what that really looks and feels like. Okay. So Spirit's just asking as, as a reminder here, in terms of the outcome, we've got the eight of air, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So maybe this weekend as part of this, and as you're shifting through, maybe there's something that you can't see, you can't feel this hope is turning a little bit into fear and just taking over a little bit potentially this weekend as you start looking at things. So just, you know, just, just be mindful of that as, as you're working, working with that. Okay. But let's dive a little bit deeper and see what this energy is with this intuition and two of wands. Like, what do we need to know here? So we've got the six of wands. So when I look at this energy Pisces of your intuition, I think you're looking at where do you feel most accomplished, most appreciative um, with the work and effort that you put in. I think you're really looking at this. So let's understand more of what this two of wands is because something's in conflict here. Let's have a look at this two of wands. I should say two of water, not two of wands. I don't know why I keep doing that. I think I'm looking at wands and seeing this. So maybe this is in terms of your plans. That could make sense with the two of wands. Some plans that you're trying to make or trying to work towards is about getting on the same page as someone or reuniting. It's funny how spirit's trying to, you know, showing me one thing, but I visually seeing another. Um, and then I just randomly say other things in general. But um, I feel that that's, that's on purpose, right? There's something here, Pisces, that you're really trying to connect in and understand. And again, maybe waiting for the right news or the right information to come through. Because maybe at some point in time, the challenge has been way, the way things have been communicated or the movement that you've taken as part of the news that you've had. Maybe it hasn't always been supportive. And so that's what you're trying to understand as part of this change, this shift. If something isn't really on a strong foundation, even if we make or dive into this opportunity um, with this person or this situation, is it still going to be able to work the way that you truly guys desire. But we're seeing things healing here with this renewal energy. What else do we need to know with this renewal energy? Yeah, I feel you know this can work, Pisces. But at the same time, I think there's some fear around someone how, how someone communicates is what I feel. Okay, or maybe you're worried that some news or information where there has initially been conflict that you guys have been working on healing that something else is going to come up and you're going to be like, I don't like, I don't know if I can take more of that challenging information. I need to heal. So renewal energy. Yeah, I mean, whatever, whatever aspect in this dynamic or situation that you've been in. What you might find right now is that you recognize through all the challenge, the defeat, you know, whether it's been the conversations, the impact it's had on you mentally regarding a certain situation here, we're seeing that there's nothing, there's nothing else that can really, I don't want to say destroy it, but whatever this connection or situation is that you're considering it's like sometimes these things have, have to happen in sometimes the hardest or brutalest of ways for you to truly heal and build that foundation that you seek. 
It's saying that like no matter what has happened here, this new direction is what's going to support you. This is what's going to allow you like this Phoenix rising energy is what I'm getting here. What do we need to know with this three of water? We're seeing justice. So again, whatever hasn't worked out, whatever hasn't been joyous, whatever has, you know, disrupted or people getting into things that they shouldn't be getting into. We're seeing from the past that this had to come to light or show up in some way or another, because this probably was part of the conflict that we're seeing and that you're trying to fix and rebuild. That if that didn't happen, you wouldn't have been able to, something wouldn't have been able to, to come to light in its truth that needed to balance out and heal in some regard. Maybe this was some information that you didn't know about, a situation you didn't know about, and now you do, which allows you guys to to, to live life or do what you need to do in, in honesty, clean slate, and for things to where people are on the same page here. What do we need to know with this Knight of Fire? I like this. We've got the King of Cups. So Spirit's asking you as part of this too. So sometimes I said the King of... Uh, no, that is right. The King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. My goodness. Okay. So Pisces, what I feel is happening here in amongst, you know, the giddy up that's coming on in with this Knight of Wands, something, you know, is sparking interest, capturing attention, movement forward, information, results, whatever it may be regarding this situation. I think, I feel like there's a go ahead about something. Spirit's asking you again to stay emotionally grounded, no matter how much is going on, like just Keep, keep chill, keep it, keep it together. You got this, but I feel like this is staying in, in, um, like I'm just getting emotional balance is really key as you're moving forward and taking action and doing what you got to do. Cause that's, what's going to support you as part of this. So you don't miss the important aspects of what you need to, it's kind of like, you know, dotting those I's crossing those T's. So you don't miss something that you're meant to be paying attention to. So five of fire, we've got the six of pentacles. So when we're seeing competing goals, then we're seeing six of pentacles in terms of, of balanced energy. I do feel like who's putting in what effort here, who's showing up, who's considering, you know, I'm getting, who's considering the crew, who's considering, you know, helping, supporting, I feel like if this is like family related, everyone has their part and needs to contribute, you know, obviously with age, with skills, with talents, everyone's going to give differently to a situation. But there's something here about really considering who's showing up, who's giving the right way, when is it time to take. There's something here about that, that aspect and element. But I also am getting again that this movement, this change forward even in the challenging, this is supportive energy and we're going to see harmony and balance in play eventually. Okay. I just, I'm getting eventually things are going to work out, but there just might be a little bit of a bump, bumpy ride until you truly get there because there's a lot going on. I think it's a lot of exciting stuff going on, but you know, so the sun, we've got the seven of cups. This, this this is in relation to what's being presented to you, Pisces. And I feel like no matter what's hidden, no matter what's um, being presented here, you know the thing that the choices and the decisions you make. I really feel that you are connected um, quite deeply, Pisces, to the truth of the matter or the situation and what truly fills those cups. Okay. While this is a seven, this is, this is the decision and the choice and the pathway to get you to that nine and 10 of cups. Okay. And I'm also getting, be mindful of your thoughts because your thoughts impact your emotions too. Um, but either which way I'm just seeing this is like, have confidence in the decisions that you're making and the choices that you're making, where you're heading and where you're going towards and really take things for what they are, you know? Um, yeah, I'm just seeing, you know, that, um, the poo emoji, like the poop emoji, um, and 
if it looks like poop and smells like poop, just because it's in gold doesn't mean it ain't poop, you know? <laughs> so just, I, you've got it. I know you've got it. You're smart. You, you get it. You get what I mean. And your intuition's on fire. So uh, you just, you support and protect it. That's all I want to say here. All right. King of fire. The sun is showing up again. So Pisces, when we're seeing the sun show up again for you with this focus, commitment, communication, be a leader and the support that you need, it's here for you. It's right on time, wherever you're moving towards, wherever you're going towards, like these are great things, great things. I think focus is a key part here, even amongst all the things that you've got to do, the discernment's really going to help you. Okay. With this three of five, we've got the nine of wands. So I feel you've just been on a bit of a hard road Pisces these last couple of years. Okay. And I feel like there's always been something, always been something challenging you, always been something where you've had to grow, always been having to care for someone, always had to think about someone else, always had to do some healing work. Like I feel like there's always been an always, no matter how much progress you're making or feel like you can take a breath, there's something else and there's something else. And I feel like, again, this is the waiting of the abundance to truly show up, the, the efforts that you've put in to really shine a light that, it's been worth it. And I feel like this is an important part to keep trusting and have pay, faith and patience as part of this because it is worth it. Okay. So we've got two cards for eight of air. We've got the page of wands and the king of pentacles. So with the page of wands, I'm getting some aspect here of part of the, the thoughts that you may be having whether you can do something enough, put enough energy in or whatever's showing up for you or presenting itself, is it enough to really capture that interest, that spark, that desire that you have of something? I just feel like you, something is, is, is not enough or seems, um, I feel like it's like where you're heading or where you're going. It's like all of a sudden, hang on, can this work out? Is this going to, is this going to, is this really going to give me what I want? I feel it, but I'm feeling like this little bit of fear, but the ideas are there. There's some idea there that this can work and there is potential, but I'm just feeling a little bit of fear underneath with this eight of air energy. And it's interesting, afraid to take action. And sometimes a page is afraid to take action. They're doing a little bit, but maybe they're not doing enough, you know, um, or they're worried that, is this really going to light up into that, that, that king of fire energy, right? But then we're seeing the king of pentacles. So the more that you trust in yourself and this path and this journey, Pisces, we're going to start seeing you really secure in um, and receive the benefits and rewards that come with this. I love that the king of pentacles is here because I'm really feeling this Taurian energy. And as things are moving through Taurus, we're going to see the stability, the love, the care, the, the friendships, the connections, everything just thriving and feeling really good and really grounded and abundant. Um, so we're seeing this all happen for you. And I think this weekend is going to be real testament of these plans and goals that you have and getting together on the same page with someone to finally put it into motion. But again, the key thing is getting on the same page. And even maybe, you know, if you've got to put lists together, delegate who's got to do do what. But sometimes, you know, it's asking the question, who wants to do this? Who wants to do that? And if people can't make that decision, then someone's going to make the decision of, hey, I want you in charge of this because you're great at doing this and whatever that may be, how you can get each other on the same page. Because wherever you're heading with this, this is going, seems to be like a beautiful new chapter. Um, but it's making the decision to do it and go after it and recognizing where something may be a little bit unstable is that you guys are both have the right intention and commitment for this. If you have the right intention and the commitment, you can make it work. Okay. Uh, and I really believe that for you, Pisces. So have a fabulous weekend. Love you dearly. And I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye now.